India, weren't you? I was born in India, yes. Uh, where was it in India? I could tell you. I'll get my, I can get my birth certificate. Oh, no. Oh, but you can't remember? I don't mean remember your birth. I mean remember the name of the place where you were born. It was in the north of India, which is the north now. Yes. It was just India when I was there. Yes. So do you remember which state it was? Is it, was it like um, Utah um, Pradesh? It, or? it was near Pindi. Uh huh. Rural Pindi, if you yes. want to be really correct. So that's northwest. But isn't it? that is uh, right in the north. Yes, yes. And um, I don't know why it's, it was always called Pindi by us. Yes, yes. But um, how long was it? I mean, at what age did you come back and see England then? I came back once. Yeah. In my, I was there for seven years, but yeah. for one bit of the time, I was in England. Yes. In fact, my family were infuriating because I could only speak Hindustani. I couldn't speak English. Isn't that amazing? And you see, they didn't understand Hindustani. Not in India. Mm. Uh, not in. It in was India. in Ireland, actually. Right. Right. But I am Irish, really. Are you Irish? You're not English. I'm not no, English. No, complete misfit. Com <laughs> complete misfit. <laughs> so born there until the age of the seven, you stayed there except for one one visit, mm. and you only spoke Hindustani until I came home. Yes. I, 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 oh, I'd been taught English, I'm sure, by my family. Yes. Uh, but uh, Hindustani was my like a first prime. language. I always spoke it. Yes, yes. Because the servants all spoke yes. Hindustani. And did you have an ayah? Yes. Yes. Do you remember her? Yes. What was her name? She didn't have a name. She was called just Aya. Yes. And did you have the same one all your childhood? Well, all the time I can remember, yes. Yes, yes. And then at the age of seven, what happens? <laughs> As always, we were... Um, our parents gave us up completely and we were brought, her, brought to England and they stayed in India. In fact, my sister, my elder sister, she's dead now, um, I was never in India, not when she was an, not when she was young, because the war caught her right. and she was in Ireland. And so she stayed there with my grandmother. Yes, yes. But so, I didn't. I was born in India. Yes, and, and raised in India for the first And raised years. in India. Yes, and then sent home at the age of seven. Yeah. Straight to school? I went to one of these places where they take children. <laughs> Perhaps you don't know them. Um, well, that, I mean, that sounds like an austere orphanage to me, but I don't think it was that, was it? Not quite, but uh, there were quite a lot of children there. Yes, and... Um, and we didn't, I didn't like it, but then I was a bit of a rebellion, you know, I... Rebellious. I, yeah. Yes. Where, where was the school? That was in where Susan, I went and looked at it the other day. Did you? Down near Hindhead. Oh, right. Down on the south coast then. Mm. Uh, and when you saw it again, did it bring back memories? Yes, I didn't like them very much. So, not good memories. Mm -hmm. Were you homesick? Very much so, wouldn't you be? Yes, I would be. Uh, suddenly being dumped from a, a, well, a very, very happy life. Yeah. To, very, to rather an unhappy one. Yes. In fact, a pretty unhappy one. My family, I don't think, knew. I don't suppose. Oh, if they did, it didn't make much difference to them. My father was in the Indian Army. He was, he was a doctor in the Indian Army. Was he? Actually. Yes. And did you go back in holidays, or when did you see your I've parents? I've not been back. I wasn't back until I got married. Oh. I decided to get married. Yes. And... I was there the whole war. So from seven and ha until you were what, 21 or? No, I was about, I was 17, 60, 18. When you got married? Yeah. That's very young. I was very young. Yes. 
So for 10 years you were back and in London. And I was married to the same man the whole time. <laughs> I did. My, my daughter has, been, has had three husbands. Yes. And, uh, and that's a generation difference. Quite. Isn't it? Yes. So you stuck to no, the same no, one. The two, we've got two sons, you know. They're still stuck to the same wives. Right. Okay. Okay. Which yes. is a good idea. Yes. I think it probably is. Yes. But Susan prefers her going from one to the next. Yes. I couldn't cope with that. Oh yes, okay. You just like to get used to one. Yeah. Yes. And so you went back, um, you went back with Michael into the... Into no, the, no, I went, Michael went back. Yeah. And then I followed afterwards right. about six months afterwards. Yes. So where did you meet Michael? I met him in India. Oh, did you? Mm. But he was British Army. Yes. Strange. Yes, because your father was in the Indian Army. He so. was in the Indian Army. Yeah. And I could have married oh, quite a lot of people in the Indians. Yes. Um, Indian Army. Yes. But I didn't. I chose someone in the British Army, which perhaps was rather stupid. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I stuck to him until he died the other day, what yes. was a couple of years ago. Yes, yes. Well, tell me about life as a as a young married woman out in India, married to somebody in the English army. How? What was everyday life like? Oh dear, that's an awful. But did you live in a bungalow? Yes. They were all bungalows. Yes. Just about. Uh, I don't know. It was. Uh, it was a very pleasant way of life. You didn't have to do anything, not as, no, not unless you really wanted to do it. Yes, well, in the sense that you had lots of servants. Dozens of servants. I mean, when Michael was a young captain, a young captain, or even a subaltern, uh, we had about seven or eight servants. Yes. And as he grew up, as he grew more senior, yeah. we had more. Yes. So you would have a cook and a cook's helper and a... Uh, that's all. A cook's helper helper. Yes. And the, a gardener. And a gardener, a couple of gardeners. Yes. Because you, ha you had a, a bungalow which was in a big support. Um... When you had... And then you had a camel. <laughs> that, that drew the water from the well, which was you had your own well in your own garden, and, and it uh, the camel man came every day and uh, <laughs> poured water out, <laughs> remembering things that I've forgotten long yeah. ago. Uh, was the camel walking round and round then? Yes, they, they had, uh, you know, they had stuff over their eyes, yeah. and they were just. There they were, and they were walking round and round, and they had a bloke to look after them. Yes, yes. And they just walked round and round and round and round. Yes. Did you have a doby waller? He came. Yes. Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Took the washing away. Mm -hmm. And uh, hands and no knows what it was washed with. No, no electricity. Oh Lord, yes, we had. Oh, you did have electricity. Had, uh, uh, not a uh, proper drainage. Uh huh. But we had electricity. Yes. Uh, so who looked after the um, what come on, waste products of the house then? Well, did somebody uh, come and take that away? Is it? I don't know what happened to them. But uh, yes, yeah, somebody came. Uh, I don't know who took it away. I, you know you. You've got me there. You probably took it all for granted, really. Yes, uh, the, I suppose the cook had some way of getting rid of it. I don't know. Yes. And were you in a, a sort of compound or an area with other uh, army officers? Yes. You had the army... Uh, uh, the um, colonels, the colonel and right down in one part, yes. in big bungalows, and as you got y got younger or older, yes. so the bungalows got smaller. 
Right. So you moved from a smaller bungalow to a bigger one as you got advanced. Senior, yes. yes. More senior, yes. Yes. And the big, se the very senior officers, I'm talking entirely about the army, mind you. Yes. Um, they had an enormous number of servants, the very senior officers. I can't even imagine what they all did. And they, they all, had, oh, it was very interesting looking back on it. They had their own jobs to do. And they did them, just their own one single job. They wouldn't do anything else, just the one job. And therefore you had a lot of servants. So can you think of some of the jobs they did? Yes, well they did. All the jobs were done. And I had what my father, I had my father's own bearer who was well, the bearer calls itself the bearer, was, and he was a bearer. He did everything. The sort of fetching and carrying? Yeah. Yes. And getting all the clothes out, his uniforms and so on. Yes. And he, the whole house was run, run, bu run by the bearer, really, I suppose. He did just about everything. So he was the sort of top servant? Mm. Um, a bit like our housekeeper might be, in charge of everybody else. That's right. Yes, yes. Not that I've ever had a housekeeper in any <laughs> It's not one of the things I've gone in for. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the social life there, because here you are. You Presumably, apart from the servants, you're not... Are you meeting Indians or not? I've met a few, but not many. Yes. Now, there's one person here who will tell you all about India before, when it was already changed, it was changed from British to England, mm -hmm. and that is Mrs. Uh, Edwards. Oh, yes, I know her, yes. Now, they were in India ages after it had changed. Yes. But I'm quite interested in India before it changed, before it became uh, independent, oh. which is when you were there. And, and you're in this enclave of, of Britishness, really, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yes, and you don't particularly meet Indians socially. Except, the, except army officers. Ah, yes. And certain Indian regiments, only Indian regiments, not British, Indian, were, had Indian... So, uh, officers. Yes. And they were very nice too. Yes. So you met them socially? Oh, you met them socially. Yes. What, t tell me a little bit about social life, about how, uh, here you are with really nothing to do because the servants are doing everything. So, how do you spend your time? What do you do? Ah, uh, well, we played a lot of games. Yes. Uh, there's some photographs here of tennis games, I see. Yeah. So maybe we can look at those. Yes. I played a lot of games because yeah. I, I happen to be keen on games anyway. I was keen on games, uh, well I was keen on games from the moment I could walk I suppose. Yes. So there was tennis, what else was there? There was tennis and, well that's tennis and golf were the two games I played in India. Yes. If I had stayed in England, I'd have played a lot of different games. Yes. I should have probably played a lot of cross, I should think. Yes. I don't know, but I wasn't, uh, they didn't play them out there. And croquet, did you play? Oh no, that was much too slow. Um, now I did a lot of riding. Ah. That was the thing I did most of all. So was there um, a hunt out there? or? Oh yeah, we, are, we our regiment, yes. ran a hunt. Which regiment was this? That was the Green Howards. Right. And he was always in the Green Howards and he was never changed. Most uh, officers changed from one regiment to another during the war. Mm. But he never did. He, he was a Green Howard and he stuck as a Green Howard. Yes. Yes. And he... Patrick, the, Patrick became a Green Howard too. Were the Green Howards always in India, or...? No, no, no. They were I know nothing over. about their history, so... 
uh, they were went all over the place. Yes. It was 19th was its number. I don't know how many. There must have been, oh, I don't know how many uh, British infantry regiments there were, and all the odds and ends. Oh, I should think it must have been about 60. Uh -huh. And the Green Hearts was 19th. Yes. Um, with this, with the hunting, is it the regiment that organises that? Oh, they do it themselves, yes. Yes, and you rode with the hunt? Oh, yes. Yes. And did you do also go on, I mean, we always think of India having elephant hunts and things like that, I mean, going out with elephants and things like that. Did you do that I the they did as a child. Before I was married, I, I went out, on, which we called him Champa. He was an elephant. Yes. We called him Champa, I don't know why, but we did. That sounds wonderful to me. Is that not a lovely memory, going out on an elephant? No, because I did it to uh, the, the governor was a, as a child. I didn't do it as an adult, but as a child, I look, I used to go and have breakfast with the governor of, of uh, Nagpur, which was in the central provinces, and um, I used to go, there we went round the whole of the, the estate on the elephant, old Champa, and funnily enough, Su Susan and uh, uh, Peter, uh, Patrick and, and, and Patience are my two younger sisters, they both did, they used the same elephant, mm -hmm. they still use Champa. Mm -hmm. They laugh, lived to a long age, yes. I think. Yes, so I hear, yes. And they're very peaceful. Yes. Yes. That's a wonderful memory to have. That's great fun, yes. yes. I, I think of these things, and I do think of them quite a bit. Yes. Uh, what about parties and uh, I mean that kind of end of social life? Were there lots oh, of parties? Oh, there was terrific parties everywhere. Yes. Tell me a little bit about them. Well, they were just parties, lots of parties. <laughs> Drink parties and dinner parties and, and very dressed up. Oh yes, very much. Yes. Yes. How about, how did you get? Um, I'm just trying to think of this very fashionable group going from party to party. How did you get your clothes? Were they made there? Yes, they were absolute. They were wonderful. The, uh, You'd call it, you'd call him a Dursey, and I don't know what else. What's That's happening? my dog, she's just rolling. Daisy, oh, come here. It's all right. Come here. I don't know. There's no cat, there's nothing she can chase. Yeah. Now sit still. Sit still. So the, the Dursey uh, makes up clothes to order? Yes. Yes. And he makes them extremely well. Yes. He'll come and sit on your veranda, yeah. on the floor, yeah. with his machine. Yes. And he'll make you exactly what you want. Did you show him photographs or, or how did you do it? Generally, you gave him something that you had, a dress or something that you had. Yeah. And you had it made up. Yeah. And they made them beautifully. I can't tell you. I did a lot of dressmaking when I was young and I didn't come up to their standard at all. Mm. No, fantastic. They, they really, and uh, it didn't matter if you didn't have much in the way of clothes to guard because they were made for you by your Dursey very early uh, when you got out there. They made all the clothes for you. Uh, was it? Did every household have a Dursey? Or no, 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 no. They came from uh, from the bazaar. Right. I mean, it was called a bazaar, and it still is called a bazaar, I think. Yes. But you never, you would never do the shopping, presumably? Oh, no, no. They did it, uh, or they bring you your bits and pieces, and you could choose what you wanted. Yes. But you've got English, English material. If you want, if that's what you wanted, you could get the other kind as well. Yes. Yes. It sounds, it sounds a very privileged life. It was a very privileged life. Mm. 
And it, it, oh, the war did, it hit us badly because we were the forgotten army. And Michael was um, in Burma, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, um, which was a very tough war. That was a very tough war. How much did he tell you about it? Very little. So was your life um, really completely separate to Michael's in that he went off and did his soldiering, mm -hmm. you stayed home mm -hmm. with the children and the servants and the ayahs and you didn't really know what was happening to him? Oh, I knew what had happened, but he wouldn't tell me. Oh. I had to find out somewhere or another. I don't know, but I did. I found out quite a lot, one way or another. Yes, but he wouldn't talk about it. But he wouldn't talk about it. And I've heard that other people whose, whose husbands were in India, whose husbands haven't said a word about it. Mm. It wasn't a very nice existence. It was worse than, I think, being in a, a regiment in England. Uh-huh. Were you there for independence? Or were no, you... I was just home for that, thank goodness. Yes. But did you feel the change coming? Uh, I mean, in the attitude of the people, or...? Funnily enough, no, because I think I was probably too young. The older people did. Did they? But I was pretty young in those days. I was there to lose myself. Yes. And when Michael was around, when Michael was serving, he was in Burma itself and I was in Bombay. And uh, I quite enjoyed Bombay because I liked racing. Ah, yes, and they have a good race course there. They've got a wonderful race course in yeah. Bombay. Yes. When you came back, I mean, there must have been servants that had been with you in India for years. Well, the bearer was, yes. But just the bearer, not yeah. the others. The others, I had them, oh, I suppose I had them about ten years. Yes. Did you keep in touch? No. No. Did you keep in touch with the bearer? No. No. And he, but he was with your father, did you say? He was with my father. Yes. He was with my father f from the day he was born, almost. Whether my father kept in touch with him, I don't know. So you don't know what happened to them after independence, or...? I should think they'd be all right. Yes. I don't know. Yes. One, really one's life in India, whether your husband was around or not, you had a jolly good time. Yes. Uh, I mean, with sports and parties mm. and being totally looked after, as you say. Absolutely. Yeah. It was a, as you say, it was a very privileged life. Yes. So was it then very hard to come home? I mean, when I say home, I mean back to England, because it's not home. Uh, yes, I think it probably was. We, uh, we missed a lot. But uh, I was the only one there. My elder sister wasn't there at all. She was in Ireland all the more. And then I was born in India, and both my younger sisters were both born in Ireland. Yes. So I was the only one born in India. Yes, yes. And when you came back, did you go to Ireland or did you come to England? I went to England. Yes. Can you remember what you missed mostly? Because you came back presumably as a young married woman with your children. I had two children only then, I didn't have the third. Uh, he was... <laughs> you you, perhaps remember Patrick, I don't know. I don't think I do. Do you, Janet? Mm. No. Uh, you know Anne Harrison? Yes. Well, he is Patrick's mother-in-law. Right. 
Right. Got it? Yes. Yes. And he was married in this church here. Was he? Yes. Very much after the other two, uh, uh, the, my two younger sisters were more his age, really, than, uh, than mine. You'd, there was a big gap. Yes, yes. And if he was born here, then he wouldn't have an eye and you wouldn't have... He had none of those pleasures. Never, none of the, and you didn't either. I didn't in England, no, no. Way, no way, but I had them in England, in India. India. But did you miss that? Yes, terribly, yeah. to begin with. One got, one's got, got used to doing everything yourself now. Yes, of course. But it must have been quite hard at first. It was to begin with. Yes. I've been very fortunate, you know. I'm quite happy to sit quietly here doing nothing now. And just remember. And just remember all the nice things that have happened. Yes. Have you got, I'm just, I'm just wondering, were there any nasty memories of India or nothing at all? Is it all a wonderful, wonderful, rosy experience? Oh, no, there was one or two nasty things. I think I can remember the partition. But it's sort of, you know, it's, it's there. I can't remember. The war was horrible anyway, whoever went through it. Yeah. I was in Bombay most of the time. Were there riots at that time? Mm, I, I didn't really come across riots. We didn't, you know. Is that because you were sort of tucked safely out of the way? I think so, probably. Yes. Do you remember anything about Gandhi? Mahatma Gandhi? Nothing about him at all. Were you aware of him? No. <laughs> You're so tucked away, aren't you? Yeah, you were tucked right away. Yes. You see, you were, you were just a little thing like that. Yes. In, they had special quarters and things for British officers and other ranks as well. Yes. So you were tucked away in a little quarter and you had nothing to do with the rest of the country. With the rest of the country. Except through the servants. Except through the servants. Okay. It was a, it was a two lives really. Yes. And as you say, when you were very young you spoke Hindustani better than, or more easily than you spoke English. Well I didn't speak English at all, I don't believe. If you talk to no, they've all gone now, all my relations and yes. people. Yes. They're all dead now. Can you remember Hindustani now? No, one or two words. That's what, what could you remember? Can you remember Jaldi Jaldi? Well, I can remember that. Meaning? Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> Why? What were you well, it's just, it's just a little phrase that I remember also, yes. You were in Eng India for a while, weren't but you? Only a year, and that was as an adult. But I remember a few things. TK was, it's fine. Yeah. Yes. And things like the Dobie Waller and so uh, But I, I, I missed, we went out again, Michael and I did. Did you? Yes. From here. And... Uh, I had miss I had lost quite a lot of my Hindustani. Yes. But it was coming back very quickly. Yes. Yeah. As a sec a second language does, mm -hmm. you forget it, and mm -hmm. then it suddenly comes back. Tucked away somewhere. Yeah. And I, it was coming back. The Hindustani was coming back. Yeah. And if I'd stayed there another a month or so, I'd have probably remembered it properly. Mm -hmm. But I came home. Mm -hmm. And uh, to this place, not quite the same. No, but not a bad place, Baptist, is it? I would never stay here if I could have. If Michael hadn't wanted to be here, I would never have wanted to stay here. Where would you have gone? I would have gone somewhere warmer. I would have gone to Cyprus if I could have done. Ah. Oh. I like Cyprus very much. Yeah. Have you been to Cyprus? Only for a short visit, so I don't know it very well. We were stationed there twice. Yes. 
and I liked it very much because yes. it was never too hot. Yes. I didn't find it too hot. I mean, England here this last summer, mm. people thought it was too hot. I didn't. Did you think it was just right? Just about right. Mm. You know, that's why I'm all wrapped up in this stupidness and I get so cold. Mm. Mm. Tell me about the food you ate in India, because I, I, I want as many memories as we can about India, but did they cook English food for you? Or mm. did they? Yes, they did. Completely. So the cook was trained to cater for these English tastes? Absolutely. Yes. And one cook went from British to British to British to British. They didn't. They didn't go and, and cook for the their own souls. Yeah. Or they do. They eat their own food in their own quarters. It was a completely different thing. You see, you you had your bungalow, mm -hmm. and then you had little houses all round for the servants to be in and they all were there with their wives and all their families in these little quarters. It was a very, it was a very good way of arranging things. Mm -hmm. So they were like in a corner of the garden in a little house and they would come into your bungalow to do whatever jobs That's they had right. to do. And their wives and families would be there. That's it. So each officer's officer really has a large number of dependents. I should think he probably did have, but they, like they, a hundred. But they didn't depend on you, it's, as it were. They did their own lives. Yes. Uh, so did they do other jobs besides looking after you? No, just you. Right. And you had perhaps 10, 15 servants. Yes. Just looking after you. You were rather spoiled. Yes. So did you have your clothes laid out for you and somebody to do yeah. your hair? And oh yes, anything. Yes. Anything you wanted done was done for you. Do you think it made you very lazy? I don't think it was any lazier than you are in England, to be <laughs> really honest. Yes, but it sounds like you used all your energy uh, playing games, playing tennis and uh, going yeah, hunting. Yes, and hunting and so on. Yes, yes, yes. It does sound a very wonderful life that it, you had. Oh, it was absolutely super. Yes. Do you read about it now? I'm reading a book about it now, are yes. You, what are you reading now? It's a... Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Is I've the, nearly uh, finished it. Uh -huh. Called itself here. This is well, we've never, never, uh, never read it before. And Patrick gave that to to Michael as a birthday present, and oh, I yes. ne I'd never read it until just the other day. Yes. And it's a uh, yes. Looks interesting. From the 1960s though. Yeah. What date did you come back to England? I came back just at the end, before the two wars ending, when the British war had finished. Yes. But the Indian war hadn't. Right, okay. So but this one is, I'm finding this one very interesting. Yes, yes. But were your children born out there? The two older the ones, two older were, ones not said. the younger ones. And it, were they there until they were seven as well? No, no, I came back how old were, Susan is the eldest. She was, uh, he was, uh, the child, the, the boy was, uh, must have been about 18 months, two years. Yes. And the and Susan was a few years, a, a couple of years older. No, so maybe five or something yes. like that. So did she play with Indian children or did she just play with no, other she, English children? No, it was completely, it's most odd, completely on their own. They had a sort of, I'm talking about Bombay now. Yes. And they had a 
special garden for the children to play in because I was living in a flat there in Bombay as everybody was. Um, and the children played but Indian children weren't allowed in it at all. Right. It, the only people who were Indians who were allowed in it were the ayahs for the... For the uh, English children. That's all. Yes, yes. So they didn't meet in, in, uh, Indian children no. at all? No. Well, I don't, I don't suppose they did mm -hmm. because uh, they, uh, the children might very well have played with the children, but uh, you didn't know because they were in the charge of an ayah. Yes, yes. You see, what? but there was very little mi mixture, very little mixture. Mm. Yes. What do you think of that? Do you think that was a shame or...? I don't suppose it made any difference at all. Mm -hmm. From the point of view of, you mean, social life? Yes, or learning about another culture, or... No, well, anyway, one was too young for that. That uh, I knew, I lived in a block of flats in Bombay, and the nicest person in that block of flats was an Indian woman. She was very nice. Mm. I don't know what her name was. She didn't know my name either, I don't suppose. But she was a very nice woman. What do you remember as being nice about her? She was just a very nice woman. You mean she was very kind? Yeah, she yeah. was kind and uh, friendly. Yes. And I liked her very much, yes. but uh, I couldn't tell you anything about her. Mm. She might still be living in the same block of flats, I don't know. Yes. Except probably not, I should think, because I'm probably a little too old. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I am a bit too old. Well, I don't know what too old is. I, uh, I don't think there's any such thing as too old, really. Oh, yes, there is. Is there? You wait and you're, you're my age and you know there's something about being old. All right. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. My mother lived to jolly nearly a hundred. She was in her hundredth year. Yes. And she'd had enough. Right. Definitely enough. Yeah. Yes. Well, maybe the answer is to do as you were doing and sit and think back about how wonderful it was. Mm. Oh, I do. Yes. Yes. Before I was married and after. I was there, you see, for two or three, two years, certainly, if not three, before I was married. Yes. And then I went out there and got married in India. Yes. With none of my family there. Uh, what was the marriage like there then? Was that in the Anglican church there? Oh or? yes, there was a little uh, I was, uh, I was married by a bishop actually. A very nice Irish bishop. I liked him very much. And he was an Irishman and he lived in Ireland mm -hmm. and he was a great friend of an uncle of mine that was my only relation out there. Yes. So was it a big wedding with a lot of no, guests? No, just I should think ten people maybe. Yeah, that's very small. Yeah. Very small. Mm -hmm. and we were married. And I stayed married to the same man. Yes, which is good going. You know, you don't always. <laughs> I was married for over sixty years to mm. my to Michael. Mm. But it's it is very interesting because it's, it, as as you say, it's a very 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 different life. Completely different. Mm. 
But then the East is different mm -hmm. to the West. When we were in Malaya, uh, it was quite different. We didn't have quite so many servants, but we were pretty well looked after. Whereabouts did you live in Malaya? Uh, all over the place. We were there. Uh, I, we followed the troubles around the world, rather, and uh, it was when the troubles were on in Cyprus, in uh, Malaya, and uh, we were kept very much to ourselves there. Actually, I got a job of work, I think, that I left the children, the two children that were born were married, left in England. They were in boarding school. And I went out to Malaya. So I, didn't, was... I didn't like it, you know. I, did, I was thinking it was going to be like India, and it was nothing like India at all. What was the difference? Do you remember? I don't know what the difference was. I can't think, but I didn't like it. Mm. That's why I got a job. I had to do something. What job did you get? I went and worked in Michael's office. I don't know oh. what it was doing. I think it was just got for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you did, you went from India to, well, Michael was in India and Burma, um, Malaya, then Cyprus for the troubles in yes. Cyprus. Yes. And then? Well, I'm here. And then back here. Mm. Yes. Well, it's an interesting life. Yes, oh yes, I've had a very interesting life. Yes. Seen all sorts of places. And seen a, this little picture of a little wee dog in there. And he was killed by a panther. Oh. Yes. That sort of thing sort of happened. They came right into the house. They loved they loved dogs. Do you mean to eat? To eat. <laughs> yes. Mm. And well why shouldn't they? Yeah. After all it's their natural food, isn't mm -hmm. it? I fortunately was in England. And the dog was in India. Because mm. I should have hated the little dog to be killed when I was there. Mm. It's a dear little, little spaniel. Yes, such things would be very upsetting. It would have been very upsetting, yes. especially to a child of six or seven. Yes, yes. When you were in Malaya, were you able to play tennis and golf like you could in India? Not quite to the same yes. extent, but not bad. Uh -huh. I wondered if that was one of the they things they played badminton, like. you know, in India, in the, in Malaya, mm -hmm. and one started getting quite good at that and enjoying mm -hmm. and enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, we were always by the sea, so we could always bathe. It's the only time I've ever been stung by a jellyfish in my jingle. <laughs> I jumped out of the sea pretty quickly, mm -hmm. having been stung. Mm -hmm. Not very nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just, you just notice things Yes. Mm. As, as you go along. Yes. Yes. Now I wanted to ask you a little bit more about the hunting. What did you hunt when you were there? One met at six in the morning. Yes. And one hunted a jackal. Oh uh, right, the wild dog. No, it isn't really. It's a I think it's completely different. It's, oh. very, it's very like a dog to look at. Mm. And I haven't got one in the house. I have, but I don't know where it's gone. But was there also tiger hunting going on and other things? Yes, but that would be in a different part of India. Oh, right. Okay. Yes. That's and uh, what did you wear for that? Were you dressed up like the English hunt? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In pink, hunting pink. Yeah. Mm. All black. Mm -hmm. Women wore black. Mm. And the men wore the pink. Yes. Or red, if you'd like to call it red, because yes. it certainly is red. Yes. 
Did you own your own horses or were they army horses? No, no, we had both. <coughs> Uh, Michael, as you got senior, you had a charger, but you also had horses of your own. You only had one charger, and you needed at least three, two extra. We had a horse that went down a well. Mm. I wasn't there. They were out on manoeuvres or one of these things, but they got it out, fortunately. Mm. It, 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 it backed into the well and went down, and it was quite a heavy, it's a big well. Mm. They do all the watering, you see, the fields with, with uh, well water mm. from down below. Mm. I wouldn't mind going back to live in Cornwall. Mm. Now, what one says, um, one of uh, Michael's sisters-in-law lives in this card. Mm. 